Welcome to the homework for lesson 12. This is module six of first grade. Write your name here first. And we're solving. We have to show our work for these and we can use, it doesn't say what strategy we have to use. Uh, but uh, in generally, I'm thinking that usually for numbers like this, I will usually add the tens first. I'll usually break up the the number that has fewer ones and I'll make a number bond out of that number, add the tens first and then count up the ones to finish the addition. That's usually the way I'll do it. But sometimes I'll see a shortcut and if I see that the ones digits add up to make a 10, if they're partners to 10, then right away I'll make, I'll make that 10. So the, really the first thing you're looking for is looking at your tens digits and your ones digits, is there a way to make 10? And then try to make it. But don't add tens to ones, like not with the digits like that. And what I mean by that is, well, here's a four and a six. Can I add four plus six and call that 100 or 10? No, I can't do that because that's just the number 46. So we're going to use number bonds first just to look at these numbers. And after you see a few examples, maybe you'll get what my strategy is. So I'm looking at 46 and 22. And what I'm looking for here is that I'm looking at these at how many ones there are. This add end has, and if I draw it, let me just draw it to show you. You might see it better. 10, 20, 30, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And the 22 is two tens and two ones. And you can, there's nothing wrong with drawing these to do the addition, really. this It's... It doesn't say you can't. You can use any method you like. So here's the 46 and the 22. Now what usually what I'm going to do, I'm talking about looking at the ones first. So I'm looking at these. Can I put those together to make a 10? That's what I'm really talking about. And you can see that I have a 6 and a 2 there, and that's only going to add up to 8. So that's not going to make a 10. So hopefully that clarifies what I was trying to talk about earlier. Um, that's the first thing I'm going to look for. I can't make a 10 with those ones. So since I can't make a quick 10 with those, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the tens first. So that means I'm going to count. Here's what I'm going to do instead. I'm going to add the tens first. So this is 20 and two. So I'm going to add to the 46, I'm going to add the 20 first. 66, because that's the way you would count it, right? If you had the 46, and I'll have to draw it back now. I shouldn't have erased it before. 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then we have the 22, 22. I mean, if you were going to count these, the really the best way to count them is to count the tens first, right? So you might just, you might add this 40 plus 20 equals 60, and then 6 plus 2 equals 8, and then, but that's going to be three number sentences, which is kind of a pain to write three. You might take this little shortcut and say 46, 56, 66, 67, 68. So that's 66 plus two more, 68. Most of them that I imagine most of these are going to end up going like that. So I here I see 74 and 23. Now I, you see this 7 and that 3, but that 7 is 7 tens and that 3 is 3 ones. So I can't combine them to make a 10 because that's 7 tens. It's not ones. So that, that's not going to work. I don't see an easy way to make, to take the ones and make a 10 with it. I don't see partners to 10 here with these ones. So I'm going to break up the smaller number. 20 and 3 and think 74 plus 20 that's 94 and then add the 3 94 and you can count it up in your head 95 96 97 or with your fingers and and that's how you get to 97
All right, 54 plus 25. 25 is a smaller number. I see 4 and 5 for the 1, so I don't see an easy way to make 10s there. So I'm just going to split the 25. 20 and 5. 54 plus 20. 74. And then 74 plus 5. I might see this 4 plus 5 and know that that's 9. Or I could just count it up. Sixty-eight plus thirty-one. I mean, you could still, you could just keep drawing them. Here's an example: ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and thirty-one. Ten, twenty, thirty-one. Count the tens first: ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety. That's nine tens. And then count the ones. There's nine ones for ninety-nine. 44 plus 55, I see two fives here. That'll make a 10. So remember, making 10s, we still got 40 and 5. And remember, making 10s uh, to add, making the next 10. So we practice that a lot. Start with the 55 and then add the 5 first this time because it's going to make. 60, and now you just have to add the 40 and the 60. One hundred. And now we have 86 and 13. 13 is 10 and 3. 86 plus 10. 96 and 96 plus count up three more 99 or you might recognize six plus three is nine for nine ones 37 plus 52 looking at these i see seven plus two that's nine that's not going to make a 10 for me so i'm probably going to add the tens first let's make this 30 and seven so 52 plus the 30, 82, and then 82, plus the 7, see that 2 plus 7, that's 89. And then we have, we're looking at 7 and 2 here, so we're going to be adding the 10s first. So I see 40 and 7, 52, plus 40, 92, and 92, plus 7, 99. And now it says we were you now it says we have to use number bonds and you may choose to add ones or tens first just like we did just like I was doing before on the first page. Write the two number sentences to show what you did. So now, although I did them, that's how I did most of these. Some of them I drew quick tens. Now it's asking it's asking us to use, that's, use the number bond strategy for all of them. So I'm just going to keep doing that. Uh, here's I, Here I see a 6 and a 3. That's add, that adds up to 9, so it doesn't make a 10. So 20, I'm going to add the 10s first. 76 plus 20, 96, and then 96 plus, that's 96, plus three more, 99. Thirty-three, I'm always breaking up the smaller number of the two, 30 and 3, 45 plus 30, 75, and 75 plus 3 more. All right, there's that 3. 5 plus 3 is 8, so it's 78. Uh, 
and 31 plus 67 i'm looking at those ones digits and they add up to an 8 not a 10 so i'm looking at 30 and 1 67 plus the 31st is 97 and then just one more 97 plus that one 98 57 plus 32, looking at those ones digits, I see seven ones and I see two ones here. That's not going to get make a 10, so I'm going to be adding the tens first this time. 57 plus the 30, 87, and then 87 plus the 2, 89. 58 plus 21, and that's 21 is the smaller add-in, so that's the one I'm going to break up with my number bond. 20 and 1, and I see 8 and 1 don't make a 10, so it's 58 plus 20 is 78, and 78 plus 1 more is 79. The 25 plus the 63, 20 and 5, and looking at these ones digits, that's 5 ones and 3 ones, that's only going to get me 8 ones. So once again, it's not going to give me a, a 10, so I'm going to add the 10s first instead of the ones. So, so start with the 63, the first, the larger add end, and add the 10s first, that's 20. 83 and then 83 plus the five ones you see that's eight so it's 88 44 plus 55 and now you might have a uh, strategy for doing this in your head just looking at it and adding five plus four and five plus four twice and getting 99 right in your head you might that might be working for you with these digits that trick doesn't always work it will work for this one but it won't work for the next one and i'll show you when that comes up so that trick will a lot of times it will work but it won't always work and you have to know when it doesn't work and know what to do so right now i'm still i'm just going to stick with a strategy that's been working 40 and 4 So 55 plus 40, 95, and 95 plus 4, 99. And now here's what happens is when you get 7 and 3, you get 1's digits that add up to 10. What do you do with that? Well, I see this 4 and that 5 makes a 9, so it's 910. That doesn't work, because 47 plus 53, it's not going to be 910. That's way too big. So that trick does not always work. If that's the one you're doing in your head, there are times, and you can, if you know, if you really know what you're doing, you can know when you, you, you can see that happening, and you can say, well, okay, that strategy is not going to work for this one, because I know... The digits aren't going to work out. So just use the strategy that you understand. The one that we've been practicing. 40 and 7. This is what we've been looking for is when the 1's digits make a 10, we're going to add the 1's first. So this time, for most of these, in fact, I think it's in all of them, Every single other one on this page, we've been adding the tens first, but here's the one case where we don't. So we're 53, now I'm going to add the 7 first instead of the 40, plus 7, because that's going to that's going to get us to the next 10, 60. And then we can add 60 plus the 40, and that's 100. Let me make sure that doesn't look like 160 there 
And I want to take one more look, make sure I wrote in sums for all of my, let's see, that first page looks good. Make sure I have all, there's one right here. This 99, I didn't write in where the answer, where the sum goes there. And here's another one. That's another 99 also. There. And make sure I have, yep, I've got sums written down for all of them. And as long as we're looking up here at the top of the first page, check to make sure your name's on there if you don't have it already.